Hey, I'm Kevin Marr from AMC's Sci-Fi Department, and this has been the Summer of the Superhero. So I'm at the Metropolitan Museum of Kevin. Art to check out the... Shouldn't you be at the office? Uh-oh. Wait. Shouldn't you be at the office? Uh, let's go see the exhibit. Come on. I became more interested in looking at the superhero really as metaphor and how those metaphors resonate in fashion. All the fashions here already exist in designers' collections, so I, I paired the fashions with the superhero that I chose. To wear a costume like that, how much do you think a woman has to throw up? There's nine sections here, and each section represents a particular metaphor. So for this one, which is the graphic body, I wanted to focus on Superman, who was the first superhero. And in a way, he, he sort of set the standard for the superhero costume, the unitar, the cave, but particularly the um, identifying chevron. The Hulk is a virile body. Unlike other costume characters from the Cold War, his taut muscles and throbbing veins represent male potency. I don't see it, okay? You're reading into it. Hulk smash! What's your favorite piece in the collection? <laughs> well, I, one of my favorite, favorite pieces is the Mystique costume based on Rebecca Remain in the X-Men. She was naked throughout the film and she had these silicon applications applied to her body. So we really wanted to recreate that. It really is like haute couture. This is the authentic costume worn by Christian Bale in The Dark Knight. It's made out of metal, wool, and synthetics. And if you wear it, it makes you talk like this. The Wonder Woman costume has faded over time. To refresh your memory, let's look at some photos from the 1976 TV show. Okay, we get it. Hey, let's see if they have the outfit that Deborah Winger wore as Wonder Girl. She was in that show? Do you think if Superman had landed in communist China, would he be promoting the domino theory? Well, it's sort of, I think it's, it is interesting because it's such a specifically American phenomenon, superheroes. They reflect issues of like individualism, self-reliance, and they really embody what the American creed is all about. Now it's time to play Who Wore It Better? Michelle Pfeiffer or Halle Berry? Halle Berry. Definitely Michelle Pfeiffer. Mm, Michelle Pfeiffer. Christopher Reeve or Brandon Routh? Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve. George Clooney or Christian Bale? Oh, Christian Bale, for sure. <laughs> He's just so much better to look at. <laughs> and remember, if you want to wear something inspired by the movie Ghost Rider, just go with a simple expression of shame and embarrassment. I'm Kevin Marr, and I'll see you next week.